Okay guys, here we have the DC-182. It's a beast. It's the new Albright that we've been given um, by Albright. Uh, it's, the, it's the motor solenoid that controls your motors on your winches. Um, most of you, if not all of us, are running this one, the 1000 series, in various formats, but it's, it's that one we're all running at the moment. Um, the new one is this one here, the DC-182. 50% more current carrying capacity, 50% stronger, 50% more reliable, if you want to put it that way. And just as a size comparison, if I dip down in a minute, you'll see, there we go. It's quite big, um, but that's where the reliability, that's where the current cap carrying capacity obviously comes from. Bigger, larger contacts inside, um, a much, much stronger unit than the current one we're using. And what we've got in at Red Winches now is two versions, a left and a right. So we've got the, the studs, internal studs here for your power bars in left and right. So you can run the power bars down through the middle of your motors. You don't have to run them on, on the outside or have both the same, same way. Or you can, it's up to you, but we have left and right end versions. And there we are. That's the copper buzz bars that we will be uh, selling with this along with the cover. Um, and there you can see the DC-182 on the back of our lovely ox motor. Fits very nicely, the ox motor being slightly bigger in diameter so it allows this new larger motor solenoid to fit lovely. Again, DC-182, 50% more current carrying capacity as you can see from the data sheets. You've got the two, the 1000 series and the 182. Both are gonna be on our website still. Both you can download and have a look at the data for yourselves. Um, bracket here, we've got a bracket that's uh, matched to the back and allows you to just bolt straight onto your ox motor. So all those running ox motors at the moment, bracket, new uh, motor solenoid, new copper, new cover and you're away to go. Obviously you don't need the copper buzz bars, you can run your own cables. Um, make a note of how we've uh, plumbed this one up guys, um, as per again the download that you can find on our website um, that's the way really to do it that's the way Albright highly recommend um, main reason guys is if you connect to here you permanently have your F1 and F2 live so for those of you that are still connecting to B what you'll find is that the F1 and F2 on your motor is always live when your power is live to the motor solenoid if you connect to A with your power then you're isolated when you're not winching, when you, when you, even when your power's on, um, you're, you're isolated. The rest of your motor is not live. So, worth noting, guys, and hence why we've got the copper arrangement like we have, and it's the same for the Hornet on the 1000 series. We, we, we now wire it up all that way. Um, makes the motor a little bit more reliable, a little bit safer. Okay, that's it for now. Um, hope you like it. Please have a look on the website guys, it's, it's a very, very good uh, motor solenoid, you need to consider it. Cheers guys, bye.